my peoples. I'm making this quick little video to uh, make you aware of something and kind of warn you about something um, that I came across on YouTube. Uh, there is this uh, woman who says she is a licensed therapist. Her name is uh, Katie, K-A-T-I, Morton, M-O-R-T-O-N. Um, I had seen her videos when I would do, when I would search other mental health things and I would see it listed lots of videos of hers listed but i could tell by the um little preview square i forget what that's called um why exactly i didn't ever click on hers was that i could tell it was probably more for someone who doesn't know very much um and was just the basics it's really hard to find um material whether um it be from a professional or just someone who has it um and has had it bipolar disorder for a long time so i never really you know it's elementary kind of looking and then i noticed uh, a few videos people had uploaded about her and that she is unethical and her knowledge base is very small and she shouldn't be giving anybody any mental health uh, advice or information. And so I thought, I want to look into this because this is my area and i know most about bipolar disorder so i did a search on her videos um you know what is bipolar what's mixed episode um i don't know why but she has like the same like different videos on the exact same topic what is bipolar disorder there's like three different ones i don't know if she just sort of i don't know but anyway so i watched some videos and i have found that um she has no idea what she's talking about she doesn't know some of the very basics of mental health um she does things and says things that goes against anything a um professional would do on camera and she's giving medical advice and, and and information and she is not an md she's not even a phd but um for example one the way she talks she talks like she's a doctor um she talks about she's never had any of her patients put in the hospital um against their i don't know but anyway the point was is that she was talking about how she and her patients like she could ha she has the authority to do anything with hospitalization and then that's and that's not true that is not true the way she words it is i've done this with i've never sent one of my patients for this i've never had or i've had a patient 
that I had put in the hospital. She's no, the only way a therapist can get a person in the hospital is there's three that I can think of and none, she never talks about it. She just talks like she has the authority and only MDs have the authority. And so she's talking about stuff she shouldn't be talking about. Um, if a therapist contacts that person's psychiatrist, that's one thing they can do. Um, they can talk the patient into admitting themselves to the hospital. And the third thing is doing the legal thing about forcing someone into the hospital. She herself cannot put anybody in inpatient, outpatient, whatever patient, because she is not a doctor. Um, I listened to one where she talked about ECT. <laughs> and um, first of all, she didn't know what it was. Um, she actually unbelievably googled it just outright said i don't because it was like a question question answer session type thing people asked her questions and she answered them as a mental health um professional um professional uh, um she said ec someone asked what are your thoughts on ect she's like well ect i'm not really sure what that is I need to look it up and she like is googling it right there in the video that she posts and um she's like oh it's electric shock therapy yeah um well i've never sent any of my patients to have it um i'm like you couldn't it's a treatment that an md prescribes and then she also said about ect that well she thinks it's barbaric, but pe people say it's the best treatment out there. And I'm like rolling my eyes. Yes, it works wonderfully for some people. And, um, and for some people like me, I regret having it. And the fact that she didn't even know what it was. And then didn't even like pause the camera or... I mean, I don't, I don't know if it was live. I don't think it was live. But, I mean, to actually admit that she didn't know what it was was scary. Very scary. Um, and another thing I noticed, oh, there is some video of her having a conversation with someone. Um, And they were discussing anti -per antisocial personality disorder. And she was saying inaccurate things, but they were, both people were commiserating on how, yeah, it's really creepy. And it's, she, she said gross. Yeah, it's really gross just to think about, you know, they don't have empathy and um things like some other things and makes you want to have to take a shower and somebody was like whoa back up no therapist talk, they i don't know maybe they do talk like that in private but they certainly don't talk about it on camera in a video about any mental health disorder being gross and yucky and needing to take a shower because it's creepy after you talk about it so i mean you know what if you were to come into her office you know there's always the chance she's gonna think you're gross yucky and that she's gonna go take a shower after she talks to you one more thing that tells me she, she, I don't know if she's 
how long she's been doing this whatever length of time it has been she's been doing it wrong um she was talking to somebody who had been forced into the hospital um the, you know a 5150 thing and while she's talking to this person she reaches out and strokes her arm and I'm here to tell you that therapists do never, never reach out and touch you without your permission. Um, <clears throat> I, I, in all my years, I had one therapist was going to show me a pressure point on my hand. And um, she asked, do you mind if I touch you on the hand now? Um, that's the way it happens. You don't just reach out and touch someone and be like, eh, don't touch me. <laughs> um, so that's, that's what I, um, came across and, and some of the things were so inaccurate. I felt, um, and the fact that she didn't know what ECT was and that she talks like she has her patients sent to be inpatient or getting ECT, you know what I mean? I reported her. Um, she She's talking like she's a doctor. She's giving advice and she's giving misinformation completely. You know, if you just, all you have to do is we, because, you know, mood disorder, just listen to those. And, and you know, she doesn't know what she's talking. I mean, she, the information she is giving is, seems to me to be a mixture of something she just Googled and never learned in a classroom or in practice coupled by her own personal opinion of herself. Um, I think she's dangerous and unethical. And I wanted you to uh, be aware of that. Um, so if you want to know what I'm talking about the video was it's Katie Morton and the video was called I think what is a mixed episode it's something about mixed episodes and um, she didn't even get that right really not really not not like we know what it is so I'm really interested to see because I'm not the only person that's unhappy with her behavior and way of doing things. So I, yeah. So I always really be a little skeptical, skep, skeptical, <laughs> um, and look into anyone that is trying to give you advice or information to make sure they're legit too. So, um, that's that, just sort of a warning. Talk to you later.